Hey everybody, welcome. I'm Gold Leader. I'm joined by Patronus, and we are here for part three of yeah, our technically, yeah, <laughs> of our uh, sealed deck extravaganza. Yeah, I don't even that's know. what it's turning into. Yeah. Apparently, this was meant to be like <laughs> one, maybe two videos. Yeah, but last week we played one game for an hour and forty minutes, the entire yep. entirety of the video, and it was an uh -huh. epic game, so I don't regret it. It was super epic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you uh, missed out on that game, I highly recommend you catch it. You can uh, find the replays on youtube.com slash homebasegames. Uh, it's probably still on Twitch, too. Twitch.tv slash homebasegames. Mm -hmm. Either one. Um, we did timestamp the video, too, so if you like want to skip right to the right to the action, you could do that. For tonight, we're going to play game two. Um, I actually lost that last game. I bid... I also bid dark side at 27 and lost. Yeah. So I don't know if one build point or two really mattered, but being dark side. I mean, dark that side, game was so swingy. It was so swingy. It's really hard to say. And there was a lot of uh, force swings. Yeah. <laughs> and I uh, got crushed in character thanks to uh, 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. Yeah, that was uh, th that was not <laughs> that was not great. But it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Can't for believe it worked. One, but for somebody it was awesome. I mean, you thought it was awesome. Yeah, it was cool. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'd be lying if I, if it wasn't cool. <laughs> so here's the thing. I am I'm thinking about sideboarding. Okay. I kind so, of flipped through mine, but I think I picked my best 60. And I think, anyway. I mean, I don't know if this is like the greatest decision in the world, but I've got some synergies that I could use with this Chewbacca. So I've got some armor units in ground. I've got some armor units in space. I have a couple cards that I can draw extra cards. So I have a copy of, where is it at? I got a copy of Jedi Patrol, and I also have a copy of C-3PO. Oh, and I have Princess Leia. So, where's my C-3PO? He's in there somewhere, but you definitely have him. I know I have a, a copy of C-3PO, the one that lets you draw cards, or filter cards. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I've got these three cards. So, this just lets me uh, draw a card and then discard a card. C-3PO allows me to discard two cards, then draw two cards. And Princess Leia just lets me draw a card. So I'm actually thinking, I should probably play Chewbacca. And even if I shouldn't, I just want to. So I'm going to figure out a, a card to take out of my deck to play Chewbacca. Then I'm thinking if I'm playing Chewbacca, maybe I'll play this unit, which... Gets stronger as long as it has no damage on it. And it's got uh, quite the punch. 8-8, eight, eight, critical hit 2. So let's do that. Let's uh, If we're going to combo, let's uh, wombo combo all the way. You might as well. I mean, that's kind of what's fun about a format like this. Yeah. I mean, some of the cards that I've got in here, you know, aren't great. But they're super fun to play with, and that's more important. <laughs> For sure. And not only that, it's like, you know... You build your once you build your deck, you're not you're not set. Yep. So you can change. Easy Money has jumped in. He says he is super excited about this game. He's been waiting all week. That's amazing. <laughs> so the question is, what do I cut? I could cut Qui Gon Jinn, who has Wimpy Evade, but he does have Intercept, which is quite helpful. Intercept so is good. Maybe not Qui Gon Jinn. I could cut Guri. I have no synergies for Jury, Guri. Mm. She's just expensive. Uh, I do have some synergies, but not much. I could cut Boba Fett. I like Boba Fett. Of course you do. Sidious, I like. I could, ju could cut Jabba's Spies, but it has hidden costs, so that can't be right. All right. Who are we going to cut? Not Maul. Not Luke. Ula? Maybe. I have no synergy with Ula. But she does give all my characters lucky and she's cheap. I don't want to cut my Chadra fan. I kind of like him. Leia, I'm definitely not cutting. Boba is... Uh, 
I could cut a boba and maybe just go with one boba. Um, Qui Gon, C three PO, no. Guri's a maybe. That's a no. Another boba. Sidious, I like that Sidious. Yeah, so interesting choice to play a Chewbacca over somebody. Now this bulb is nice because it has no upkeep. It does have armor. It has mm. more. It has a little more health. Same speed. It costs two more points. Yeah, I mean obviously it's nice to be able to stack, but maybe the fact that there's only a two of in a sixty card deck, your odds of stacking aren't fantastic. Yeah, I know. So. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I yeah. cut the. I do like cheap or over a more expensive. Yeah. His ability is actually. A little more relevant in this ability so this guy has an ability where um your opponent's bunny hunters get minus 20 speed it actually is a little bit relevant in sealed because often yeah. your opponents do have cards of all different types mm -hmm. this one's ability is bounty tap one of your opponent's untapped characters that could be relevant too <clears> hmm <throat> Interesting options. I like keeping my little cheap guys. So I have options to deploy during setup. These are really my most efficient evading units. So they're they're an absolute keeping. If I'm playing Chewbacca, I have to keep Leia. Leia. It's just not even a question. I really like the hidden cost unit, so I don't want to get rid of that. I do want to keep an intercepting unit. I do have another one, but I probably want to keep that. So really, it's it's between these three cards to play Chewbacca. And I think maybe I'll just cut the upkeep Boba Fett. And I'll keep the rest. All right. Try it out. So there's the characters that we're going to keep. And then i got to cut something for this Rebel Fighter. And probably be something that's a little on the expensive side. So the Warship I have. Cruiser I have. Imperial Star Destroyer, capital ship. So those are my expensive cards. I do also think, how, how many space units do I have? I felt like I had less space units than I had the other three arenas. I want to double check. How many Starfighters do you have? Quite a few, yeah. actually, yeah, surprisingly. Hmm. Um, let's see. How many Starfighters do I have that benefit from this guy? Well, I am from this guy. Oh, and from that guy. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, this guy. Yeah, it's this guy. So I have a droid starfighter. This only gets me one in build, build point, though. I have this. This. No, it gets you two. Uh, well, you have to put one on it to get the way it works. You have to put one on it. Because it says uh, reveal a partially built card, and then you gain two build points. Uh, so in order to partially build a card, you have to have at least one, one build point Got on it. Got it. So yeah, you're not getting a ton, the max value out of that there. Easy money. Do you have a Boba Fett theme deck in your collection? Would love to see that card list. Easy money. I absolutely have a Boba Fett <laughs> deck in my collection. Oh, More bounty man. hunter than straight Boba Fett. But I mean, there's five copies of Boba Fett in the deck. He's That's he's true. the main. He, that's true. He is, he is the main, the main, the main guy in the yeah, deck. I also have a whole nother Boba Fett deck that's all about like force training Boba Fett. Oh. Boba Fett, um, I believe it's Boba Fett G. So I have that deck too, and I have a Jango Fett deck. So I'm all about the Fett. I'm in. <laughs> and uh, fan of the Fett. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we've actually seen the bounty hunter deck on stream before. Maybe. But it's I have been, been so. Thirsty, uh, Katra. Uh huh. He has a light side Boba Fett deck that uses a bunch okay. of the IDC cards. Oh, that is super awesome. Okay. And so that has made me thirsty to want to build an IDC themed Boba Fett deck. Sure. So I probably will do that. Fair enough. So I know right. a friend or two who would play it. Yeah. <laughs> so I have six starfighter, five starfighters that okay. can benefit from this card. So this card seems for sure gonna stay well realistically four well i get we'll still get a build point yeah i guess it's i mean a build point's a build point yeah but you have to tap it don't you 
to activate the ability. No, it's just show a face down starfighter oh, in your build okay. zone. Right. Get get this thing. Sure. So right. that's pretty awesome. <laughs> um this is great. This is great. This is great. This is great. I think these are all great. So let's count. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have thirteen. So I could cut something. This card is not as good as I would like. I'm going to cut that one. So the only reason I'm going to cut it is I was actually having trouble with speed when I was playing that card against mm -hmm. you. And I don't know if I'm going to win the dark side for build. Yeah. And I don't have a ton of ground units where I'm going to benefit from putting three counters on stuff. <clears throat> right. So my ground units... A lot of them are actually pretty on the cheap side. So there's only a handful of cards where I would actually benefit from the full three build points. Sure. That makes sense. So I think, and I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. So I like this. I've got 13 units in each arena. That makes me happy. Especially in, uh, especially in draft or sealed. I think I want more units than I would want in a constructed deck, only because if you see the, the cost curve on these cards tend to be quite low, yeah. and you're going to lose units, you're not going to have super efficient units in play like you would be. There's not going to be, you know, Mace Windu in play. Yeah, quad stack. Quad stack. With all of the things. Yeah. yeah that's not going to happen. Evading and deflecting, and it's taking yeah. forever to kill him, or, mm -hmm. you know, Vader K. Oh, Vader K can still be in play, but... You get the idea. Yeah. Your 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 deck is kind of designed in a way to not lose units. Yeah. In this format, units die a little more rapidly, especially because you don't get to choose. Like you don't get to build. You don't get to custom choose all your cards and build your damage revenge your battle cards. You often your opponent will often play cards that they wouldn't normally play, like sneak attack. Have you ever seen Sneak Attack played ever in a constructed game? I can mm -hmm. tell you, you have not. <laughs> and it was the single reason that I almost beat you. It was. I know. Sneak Attack coming out and just doing a bunch of damage. Yep. So car cards that like, um, what's cool about this is cards that power up your units, cards that speed up your units, they're all a lot more relevant in draft and sealed play than they would be in constructed play. Yeah. Because you have built-in answers when you're playing in a constructed type of format. But with yeah. this, you're just, you, you take what you got. Yeah. and you when Make you, your best 60 and say go. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So you never know. You know, someone can come out of nowhere with 3,720 to lawn, get 60 speed and plus 6 power, uh -huh. and then kill your awesome unit and character. Yep. Could happen. <laughs> All right. So, I thought it would be interesting to sideboard, at least show you your thought process. Now we're going to play. Yeah. So, oh, before we do that, Girl. I lost. You did. So, I'm going to bid 28 dark side this time. I want to go down to 27. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'll stay at 30. Okay. 30 light. 30 light versus 28 dark. I was able to squeeze a bill point out of her. <laughs> you know, when it comes to uh, money, this girl's, is, you know. I'm is, cheap. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's as tight as Cameron. Okay. I'm going to mulligan two cards. We're going to mulligan uh, dark dreams. And we're going to mulligan Obi Wan's Maneuver as much as I like both of those cards. I just want more unit options. I don't want to stall out. As much as I'd like to keep this, I don't think I really. Right away, I'm uh, going to mulligan a homing. And thanks for joining us, Easy. It's awesome to see you. Easy Money, are you participating in, the, uh, in either the Beginner League or the online tournament? Sealed. Yeah. The online sealed tournament. Mm -hmm. And I will take the time to announce that tomorrow at 8 o'clock, 
I will actually be live streaming by myself as I play my sealed match. Oh, okay. So I have my sealed match at 8 o'clock tomorrow against uh, Pyrock. I think I pronounced that right. Um, we are playing our match at 8. So since I'm playing, I'm going to stream it live. So check us out. If you uh, remember to like and subscribe on YouTube and, and hit the notification bell, you'll get a warning when we go live anytime. So. Mm. Same thing with Twitch. All right, so I'm the dark side. Mm -hmm. And let's start out with... Interesting. Let's start out with uh, my buddy, C-3PO. Three points. Sure. I'll draw a card. You got it. To the sideboard I'm out of here. I'm not going to be shy. Really? Yeah. That's how you want to be? Yeah. I'm not, I mean, I'm going to play it. Mm -hmm. Might as well. All right. Yeah. So I guess this is uh, two arenas for me to play in. I don't know how I'm going to kill that. I mean, it's not as good when he doesn't have all of the fixings. <laughs> sure. Keep He's a lot you. easier to kill when keep, he... Uh... Keep telling yourself that one. <laughs> all right. That is fine. We're going to put... We're going to put... We're going to put three points on Tyrannus' Geonos and Speeder. Okay. That puts me to six, and I'll draw a card. Okay. I gonna do six on this guy. Okay. So you're at ten. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Oh boy. All right, I'm going to put uh, six on Luke Skywalker M. I love this Luke Skywalker, by the way. I mean, he's nothing special. It's just great, great image and evade and deflect. Uh, yeah, guys, his match is at 8 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> what time did I say? He, they were asking a.m. or p.m. He just oh, said 8. yes. I apologize. It's p.m. It's not 8 a.m. P.m. Central Standard. Yep. Assuming. The are we in Standard right now? I don't know. It's central Time. <laughs> yeah, 8 p.m. Central Time. The same, the same time we do all of our streams. Okay. Oh, bummer, easy. You should join next time. So, another 6. So, you're 12. Yeah, I'm at 12. Apologies. All right. I'm gonna play a buzz drill for two. Yeah, also Jedi Guardians has uh, been unlocked and I just posted an article not too long ago covering the release of Jedi Guardians from Wizards of the Coast. So if you want, you can go to home base game slash uh, articles to check that out. And what I mean by Jedi Guardians being unlocked in our beginner league, every month we unlock the um, the next set in order of the original release mm -hmm. so that people can kind of build decks play with it and then a new set comes in just like it was originally released and it's great for beginners because you're not looking at this massive card pool and then it's also great for people like me who just kind of want to go back and re-experience playing with the cards as they were originally Absolutely. done so. yeah all right you're stuff. 13 i am all right I am not liking this so far. I'm going to put two here and be at 14. Okay. Draw. That's a, a bog wing, by the way. Let's go with six on Mr. Calrissian. Okay. 
Oh man, really? <laughs> that Luke's X Wing is ridiculous. Okay. And if he chooses to go pilot it, yes. <laughs> so crazy. Alright. Um Let's do five build points on a stormtrooper platoon. So let's change that to a six. Our card. Yeah. And that's still me. That it is. I guess this is a way to deal with Luke's X-Wing. Sort of. <laughs> Back-ended way of doing it. Yeah, yeah. so this is uh, the Stormtrooper Platoon. From A New Hope. Oh no. Battle of Yavin. And then I'm going to play Luke's X-Wing A. Do some contesting. I mean, that might be my best shot at getting it at least out of the arena for a turn. True. Let's Oh, Vader. Okay. Vader's going to be kind of annoying. All right. So I have five points left. Right? There it's 18, 23, yeah, five. So we're going to put five points on our own tank. Which isn't quite as good as your tank, but beggars can't be choosers when it comes to tanks in the Star Wars universe. All right, and that's gonna build me out twenty-eight points. I think I'm gonna finish out with my last three. The juggernaut. Yep. And by the way, um, technically, when you build your last card, you put your build points on it, you show it to your opponent like that, and then you flip it over. But since we're on stream and you guys, mm -hmm. everyone's already have the information, yeah. we usually just leave the last card face up. Yeah. Even in regular games, we yeah. always do it that way. Yeah. It's just... Courteous. I'm not playing a game of memory. <laughs> All right. So, force, rolling for build. We four. got a four. Five points. Five. And then the dark side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven cards. I'm going to draw. Do I have any upkeep? Nope. Okay. Well, then. We're going to tap C3PO. Mm -hmm. We're going to discard two cards from my hand and draw two cards. So, we are going to discard Death Star Control Room, because I'm not feeling uh, very spacey. And we're going to discard... Imperial Star Destroyer. And I have to do this, unlike Java Senkar, I have to do it before I draw cards. And then I'm going to draw two. One, two. Oh, okay. All right. So let's do this. Let's uh, exhaust my bog wing. So my bog wing says that 
I can use its activated ability during my build step or when it would attack to make my opponent discard the top two cards of their deck, I believe. Yep, discard the top two cards of your deck. Anakin, all sad face. Oh, nice. And close quarter. Oh, all right, I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to spend two build points and wombo combo with my <laughs> Kabe, my Chatter fan. So I'm going to throw that in the character arena. Four. And I can remove a card in your opponent's discard pile from the game. If I do, I gain an extra build point. Play only when this unit would attack. Okay. Can't, you can't use build points during... It's the next turn. You uh, get, It actually says you get an extra build point next turn. Got it. I was going to say, I'm like, but you can't use build points during the attack phase. I'm yep. confused. <laughs> and so I have three points left. And I think what I want to do is I'm going to put three build points on a location, free Bespin. And we're going to play that in the ground arena. Sorry. Okay. Yep. And then I will be done with my build step. All right. Uh... Let's finish this guy out for four. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to play Still Doubt on Luke. Ah, okay. So Luke cannot evade or anything. Correct. Can't use evade or deflect. Okay. Try to see if I can take him out. Yeah, that's nasty. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right. That's it. Oh, yeah. yep. All right. Um, I don't have any retreats as the dark side <laughs> player. Do you? Um, bad side of doing that means you have no reason not to just spend a bunch of force to yep. contest. But the question is, do I want to make you spend a bunch? Mm -hmm. I will stay in. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to the battle phase then. Mm -hmm. And we have two units that have to contest. Yep. I'm the dark side. So I will build one, bid one build point. Force point? Uh, I'm sorry, one force point. Yeah. My apologies. <laughs> so the way um, contesting works is um, when you have two, at the start of the battle phase, if you have two unique units in play, they can test. The dark side player gets to bid first. They bid a number of force. Then the light side player can bid. And this goes back and forth until both players pass. Once both players pass, you combine the amount of force points bid with the total build cost of the unit in play. Whoever has more keeps their unit. And then pays the force. Right. And dark whoever, side wins ties. Right? And dark side wins ties. Yeah. And whoever has less retreats their unit. Well, they don't retreat. They take the unit and they send the unit to the build zone. Correct. And then they don't lose force. Correct. So I'm going to bid one. I will also. Okay. And... That is fine with me. So I'm going to retreat. You lose one force. Okay. Because you have six and yep. I had five. Okay. 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 And so space. Steps. Mm-hmm. And ground. You're up. All right. Let's, I guess, start working on the... That thing is overkill. This one has shields one and overkill. This one is just a 47-7. Yeah. All right. Let's work on the juggernaut. Roll okay. two dice. Juggernaut, 47. Got it. And I got zero. This one's also going to roll up the Juggernaut. Five yeah. dice. Ugh, two. Okay. Okay, you're out. Let's use this guy mm -hmm. to roll here. Okay. Five dice. Yep. With overkill. 
You got it. So first thing is, when this thing is attacked, search my deck for a Geonosian, which we know I have. And that just happened to be right there. So take that, put it into my hand. Mm -hmm. And we know I had this because we've done we this We found before. it last time, yep. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to roll the five dice. Yep. Oh my gosh, four, four? hits. All right. Okay. Dead, dead. All right, how do you want to sign the damage? He has pay one of aid two. Oh, he does? Sure does. Oh, relevant. Okay, well then uh, we will assign... Uh, so we're assigning overkill three damage. Three here and one. Okay. Didn't realize he had evade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that is fine. I will not spend the force. Okay. And then uh, you're up. Mm -hmm. Seven dice. Okay. I'll activate retaliate. Let's pay one for the retaliate, guys. Retaliate, pay one, retaliate two. Mm-hmm. Three. That one all the way up in the corner. It's yeah, it's three. Three. Ugh. Okay. So it's gonna die. Roll back. I'm gonna roll back. A one retaliate two takes one. And then I'm dead. I should have deployed this unit. That was stupid. Yeah, I made a mistake. I, I wanted to get this in play, but I kind of forgot about that because we were streaming. So I should have deployed this, put two build counters on this. I got a little greedy, and I would have survived here. So, yeah, it's a mistake. Next game. Well, technically that would be the match, but we'll play another game. <laughs> oh, we're playing another game. We're playing best of three. Yeah, I that was my second win. That's right. <laughs> we're playing this one for pride. <laughs> okay. Since I made a mistake. That's fine. <laughs> I'll allow it. Go figure. Play one game for an hour and 40 minutes. You make one mistake, and then you play Someone the next game for five. Someone called that last week. They're yeah. like, yep, that's what's going to happen. Yep. It's okay. Yeah, I forgot about the overkill on the tank droid, too. I was thinking with three units in play that I would live. I would live. I was totally forgot. Overkill relevant there. Yeah, overkill relevant. That is for sure. I do apologize. I might have to get up from the table for about two minutes to go uh, stir and turn off my bolognese that I've been making since five o'clock. <laughs> We're foodies in this house. We are foodies. <laughs> Someone suggested that I should do a uh, YouTube video of what what of um, a recipe to make for for gamers. Like, what's an easy recipe you could make and have? while you're playing games oh you while know you're what playing like, games. Okay. Like, like something you could make that's so easy that you could just pull out while you're playing a game you know what i mean sure. like a lot of times <laughs> i mean are we saying healthy or are we saying <laughs> i mean I, healthy was never mentioned i don't know if i we, guess it's gamers i don't healthy know if we want to give away thing. that recipe do we yeah probably not that's like the holy grail that's, yeah recipe. that's my family's secret sauce recipe <laughs> Ron had to marry me to get that. <laughs> sure did. It's the only reason we got married. One of the many. Probably at the top. <laughs> Lured in by the mac and cheese. You know, worse things. All right. I promise I won't play like a complete dummy this game. Okay. And I was super excited about that setup, too. Yeah, I wasn't feeling so hot about mine. Oh, it him, was okay. That Luke's X Wing that won the arena for five build points. Well, you know. Woe is you. All right. So, bidding? 
Oh, yeah. Because... I'm going to do 28 dark again. Uh, that's fine. Oh, convenient. Uh, yeah, because I can't play equipment and set up either, right? Correct. Yeah. It'd be nice, but that's a little risky. No sideways cards during setup. Mm-hmm. All right. It's weird playing Star Wars using non-Star Wars sleeves. Yeah. Well, it's kind of trippy for me. We didn't really have enough of a particular sleeve at this point. That's not. I mean, we do. I really, I can't believe that I sleeved an entire collection of marvel versus and star wars sleeves that's true i totally need to unsleeve that whole thing yeah that's true we, we, we actually like <laughs> during quarantine like pulled out like tons of games we haven't played in a long time yeah we pull out the marvel versus and i was like there's like th 300 cards in this box all sleeved in the amazing return of the jedi sleeves i yeah. need to unsleeve that whole thing yeah it's ridiculous yeah well, in all fairness that was probably like the only sleeve we had in bulk at the time <laughs> <laughs> probably but <laughs> and there was most likely a little birdie named Patronus who was on your shoulder saying, don't buy more sleeves. We already have a ton. Yeah, let's see. This is all true. <laughs> this is all true. All right. <sighs> so this time we are going to start with two points in space. Okay. And we're going to play one of my favorite cards of all time. It's a goodie. Oh, I love this card. Droid Starfighter DFS 1 VR. I can't tell you how many decks I have that card in. And it can F. All right. You got it. Oh, um, two points. And it can set five. Okay. This is probably a super battle droid squad. Yeah. So it'll be at seven. <laughs> One rule, no eating during gameplay. Must keep the cards pristine. That's what <laughs> sleeves are for, my friends. Yeah, just change the <laughs> sleeves. And if you get super anal like me, you can double sleeve your all foil decks. Yeah. Really hard for my tiny little baby hands to shuffle this. All right. So you're at nine. I'm at nine. I'm at seven. seven. Okay. Let's go with. Let's go with Ula. Three in character. Right. So be at 10. Jugs. The juggernaut. Yeah. That's one cool thing about playing um, sealed and limited is you can play a unit that's vanilla. Yeah, and it's fine. And it's totally fine. Yeah. yeah. Normally a 40 speed 7-7 seven, seven would be the definition of mediocre. I mean, there's almost no... <laughs> I can't think of any vanilla unit that is played once... Like empires, I would say. Eh, maybe not empire. Unless there's like, some kind of synergy. I would say it, yeah. once once the Phantom Menace comes out, there's enough units that I just don't see any vanilla units really being played. Unless you're like trying to do like some kind of tribal deck, right? Exactly. You might said. play Jawas or something. Yeah. But that's about it. Jawas, Tuscan. Yeah, and most of them all have abilities. That's true. So they have something, yeah. A lot of them do. Okay, let's do um 
Let's do three in space with a uh, Delta Six Jedi Starfinder. Draw. And I'm still up. Let's get a Boba Fett in play. So let's add a six, seven. And I'll draw. Well, that's not nice. Okay. Go. Yeah. Let's do do five points. It's time for uh some uh oh, all right. gold squadron support. Fair enough. Playing at Tauntaun. <laughs> okay. I'm going to play. So I'm at 25. I'm going to put three points. Oh, I'm sorry. Do I have to keep going, apparently? Yes. Sorry. Before you, I saw anything that yep. you were doing. One more point. Um... Mm. Geon Ocean Defense Fighter. So the the, uh, the name of that ship is actually a um, they. It's funny because they don't have it on here. They have it called a Geon Ocean Defense Fighter, but it's actually a Nantac. Okay. Defense Fighter. Okay. Um, it's actually the name of the ship. Okay. And they uh, finally put them in X Wing. Oh. And they're apparently like super busted, and everyone's like tripping. And I bought, I bought four of them when they came out. But, like, I hardly ever play. I just wanted them for role-playing games. Yeah. And because it's... Dooku's fighter? It's, no, it's the Clone Wars. It just... It's not Isn't Dooku's. It? Oh. It's a Geonosian defense fighter. Oh, okay. Dooku's is the solar sailor. Oh, that's right. Looks similar, though. So I can see the confusion. All right. So you put... All right, so I'm going to put... Three points on Thai defense team. Okay. So that should be, be in space. That should be uh that should build me out in twenty eight. I've got two left. I think I'm gonna put my last two on Okay. Stupid Lando. Oh, I got to draw. Drop to seven. Okay. Okay. Rolling for build. Mm -hmm. Three. Four points each. All right. I'm going to draw for turn. Yep. Don't have any upkeep. We're going to put two points on this Thai defense team. Mm hmm And then we're going to put hmm, two 
two points on free Endor. Free Endor, I believe, just gains me a force point. It does. Turn it over. And then that's all she wrote. Yeah. I think I might have to just deploy Lando and Oh, you have to, huh? I don't know that he can survive that. You just got to give him lucky two. Yeah. Okay. I don't know that he can survive. And accuracy. And accuracy? Yeah. Fair. Accuracy one. Seems fair. Okay. I don't know if he can survive otherwise. <laughs> I don't know. You've got intercept, so. Yeah, a singular. You have three. You have four dudes. <laughs> all right all uh, right any retreats anakin's out super battle droid squad is fortunately going to retreat as well oh i have to go first i apologize um okay. i i was going to retreat there no matter what fine all right space it is i'm 60s you're 60 i think what i want to do is I'm going to play a battle card. Yeah, I'm going to play um, Pilot Speed Okay. for one force. Yep. And I'm going to boost my gold squadron. Okay. I think. Well, yeah, let's boost gold squadron. Okay. They're going to hit the accelerator. So it gives them, like, extra speed, right? Yeah, plus 40. Okay. So he'll be at 80. 80. Yep. All right. And we're going to roll... Four dice at the interceptor. Okay. Yeah. That's when I get it. And we got one hit. All right. That sucks for you. Eh, it happens. Okay. You're up. Yep. So let's. So let's go with this guy first. Mm -hmm. Two dice, accuracy one. Okay. That's two. And, oh, I forgot something, but that's okay. Forgot what? No, it's okay. I did not forget something. I was going to say, like, you don't have any intercept. <laughs> he has pay two force intercept. Gold oh, squadron. he does. Yeah. Oh, okay. The reason to include the card. Fair enough. All right. Luke. Um. Okay. And then, well, I could go with this guy, too. Um, yeah, he's 60 everywhere. Yeah. That's fair. So let's send Luke here. Okay. So that's three dice, lucky crit two. four, lucky two. And accuracy one. And accuracy one. Yeah, all of those. Uh, that's really horrible. So that's roll one. Those two. Yep. All right. There, there it is. Go. Okay. So there's the big hit. Yeah. So that's I'm gonna spend five, six. Spend three force on thread the needle. So I have none. Prevent oh, all damage. No. Yep, I can't do anything about that. Zoom, zoom. Those were the shot. Okay, yeah. and then this guy will then just roll two dice here while sure. you don't have any force. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Figures. Sometimes it's the way the cookie crumbles. That's true. All right. Roll back. Yeah, so we need one hit to kill this guy. So okay. let's just... Let's go with uh, that guy. Three dice, crit one. Got one hit. 
I am going to use strange lodgings to pay one per month. Okay. And then this guy, same target. Okay. Two. Now he'll die. But okay. I made you attack him three times, so that was pretty You did. <laughs> okay. All right. Ground taps. Mm -hmm. Character taps. Yeah. Ready up. All right, four force. Five. Hit five. No bonuses this round. I'm going to draw. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to gain an extra force. Yep. One, five. And then five build points. Push this guy in. Let's uh, put th three bill points here. And let's put two bill points here. Yeah. And pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Let's do Jack underneath for one. Okay. And if uh, you're new to the stream, Anakin and Invader are the same character in draft, so you can stack right. them. And then... I think we do... Okay. Okay. All right, uh, retreats Done. for me first. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Options aren't super solid here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some tough decision to make here. I mean, that juggernaut can go and just wipe out my Jedi Patrol. So I get to go, then the other guy gets to go. I don't lose. That's true. But in space, got two guys that can go. Spending force on intercept kills this matter. All right, sure. we'll we'll live to fight another day in space, I guess. Okay. We're gonna retreat space. All right, I'm done. I'm not retreating. Yep. All right, ground. Yep. Just uh, those tap. Tappy tap. All right. Uh, jugs here. Yep. Seven dice. No tricks. My Jedi Patrol just becoming an interceptor. Well, there's the three. Yep. Yep, and it's dead. Three dice. Okay. Wow. Bang. All right, roll back. Yeah. Um... Boy. Did not think that Tom-Tom was going to do that work. Yeah, sometimes dice rolls just <laughs> don't work for you. Fair. All right, I'm going to roll five at the Juggernaut. One. 
and then I'm going to play Four Force, and I'm going to play Clever Escape to untap my ah. Super Battle Droid. Okay, roll again. Juggernaut. Two. And that's not what I wanted, but... But it's tapped now. It's tapped now. Yeah. All okay. right, and then Anakin. Yep. So we're going to go at Boba. We have six power and stun two. Okay. And pay one of eight one. Oh, Lordy, you are rolling hot for me. Yeah, I'm cold for me. Yeah. Uh, Lucky two, so I'm going to lucky the sixes. What's the lucky two? Or lucky one, sorry. Okay. Ula. All right, so these three miss. They have armor, so I take two. Mm -hmm. And you're stunned. And I'm stunned. Stunned two. All right. So you roll three dice back. Yep. And rolled zero. Okay. Ula. And then Ula rolls one. One. They want to be able. That's it. I get five force. Well, I get four, and then one of them is seven. Five. Mm -hmm. Okay, draw. So we're going to put four on a tank droid. Four? Sure. With one build point. And then we're going to put one build point here. Okay. Push these guys in. And then I gain a build point. You already did. No, I was at one. One, two, three, four. You said you got five force. I did not, though. Oh, okay. So go. You just said it and do it. Yeah, because I, the right time to do it is during the build step, and not sure. not when I gain force. Oops. Okay. Six. Let's do the destroyer droid squad for five, mm -hmm. slightly worse than yours, and then my last one. Okay. That's it. All right. I have no retreats. Ditto. You're up first. Space. Yep. Luke is going to roll. Play. So let's maybe have him activate. Okay. Zero. Then we'll have Luke activate. Honestly, I'd rather just try and take some dice off the table, so I'll try and go. Okay. And. Not very efficient, but. That's fine. I'll let that happen. All right. No Plus reason four. to lucky because <laughs> everything's a hit with accuracy there. Yep. Okay. Well, if I knew I was going to roll that, I would have rolled that one of the guys with four, but that's okay. All right, so let's roll with the Geonosian Defense Fighter. We'll okay. roll four. Sorry. Got one. And then Gold Squadron. One. Same target, I'm assuming? Yes. And then ground. Yep. And your, your tank droid is first. I'm gonna spend two force on fly casual. Uh, choose a unit in space or ground. This unit gets minus twenty speed and lucky two until end of turn. Play only before any unit would attack. Okay. So. So what are you targeting? Targeting the super battle droid squad. Okay. And we'll just leave it here for right. now. 
Okay, so it's 10 speed, lucky two. Yep. All right, your tank droid's still first. Yep. So the tank droid's going to just work on the juggernaut. Okay. Three. Three. Okay. Not enough. Close, though. It's reasonable. All right. So Jugs is going to roll here. Okay. Seven. Like it has six health, right? Yeah. Yep. It's half dead. Okay. Half dead. Or half alive. <laughs> Three. And we're going to lucky two. Does she give it to all units? It's this unit has lucky two. What's confusing oh, about the card? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, 100%. So zero. Uh, one hit. One hit. It's kind of forgetting that there's a defense factor there. Okay. And then... Same target. Okay. Bad dice. No trick. All right. Lucky two. Zero. Oh, man. Brutal. Yeah. All right. Fly casual. Yeah, that's obviously saving your butt. It's okay. It happens. Lucky two. Yeah. You get there. Oh. It no. got there. Yeah. Damn it. That was close, though. Oh, well. That was my... I had to swing with the team, though. That was my chance. Yeah. All right. Putting up a valiant effort despite very bad dice. Yeah. All right. You're up. Yep. Annie is going to roll at Boba. Six at Boba. Six with stun two. Of course, all these sixes. Yeah. Well, that was a six. So three hits. Well, it was three before, and then you, made, you no. rolled one, right? I relax. Oh, it's okay. three hits. Right. Roll three back. All right. Five. So I'm rolling three. One. One. They want to be. Uh, he doesn't have armor, so it's two. Oh, sure. So it's Andy, two. Uh, Andy is lucky. Hold on. It's still two. They want to be one take one. Ula. Ula rolls one. One. They want to be one. And that's all she wrote. Gain four, go to eight. Roll for build. Six. Okay. Bonus for seven. Draw a card. Okay. Gain of force for the uh, free endor. Mm -hmm. Alright, six build points. So we're going to put two here. Sure. An elite guardian. Nice. Okay. So remove that. There's that. Uh, We're going to put four on Luke's X Wing. Oh, rude. And one here. Okay. Yep. And that's it. Okay. We'll do last one here. That guy. So I can go and look for a starfighter? No, no, no. You got to read the card. This guy is when your build step starts. So he has to be in play. Oh, okay. So I'm just playing him. All right. Fair enough. Then... But every turn, you can search for a starfighter. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Then... What up, Katra? We were just talking about you. How did you... Didn't you play a match? How did that go? Let's... Flip this. So that's going to cost me three. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Uh, well, this match isn't going any better for me. Um, 
Patronus is uh, throttling me. Uh, this is game three. I've already lost the first two games, so the match is technically already over. And then uh, I'm struggling to survive in game three. All right. Um, okay. I am... I'm retreating ground. Sure. Um... No, no retreats. Okay. okay. And then contesting. Yep. I will bid one force. Uh, I'll bid one. Okay. I will bid two force. Um, I'll do two. That's fine. I'll bid three force. I... Is there anything you can use for force besides pay, intercept, and retaliate over there? That's it. That's it, okay. Well, and intercept. Intercept here again. Um, I did put you six. You can still do all your things. Three. Yeah. I'll bid four force. I will bid five force. I'll let you do Okay. So I'm going down to four. So is it tapped in the build zone, technically? No. Nope, it's, it's, just, just, it's just in the build it's zone. It's just in the build zone. I don't know that it matters, but... It doesn't matter, but it's, yeah, it's just yeah. in the build zone. Okay. All right. So space. Yep. Uh, 60. 60. You're yep. up. So two dice... At okay, one. All right, let's roll three dice at the dreadnought. Mm hmm. Let's roll four dice at the Geonosin. Three. And then let's roll four dice at the Dreadnought. Two. Yeah, I know it would have killed the Dreadnought, but that 60 speed guy was driving me crazy. <laughs> and I... Wanted just to make sure I killed something. <laughs> That's fair. So let's roll three dice at this guy, because the shield's one. Yep, three dice, shield's one. I will spend two force to intercept. Okay. So you're going to roll four. Two. Two dice on gold squadron. Damage, yep. All right, ground taps. Yep. And Vader's a 60, mm -hmm. so he's still first. Yep. So he's going to roll seven dice, and he will attempt to take out Boba Fett. Okay, yeah, so I will intercept and retaliate, okay. which is all of my force. Yep. Um, so you're rolling seven Is retaliate... Dice. Retaliate's when this unit... No. Okay. You can't retaliate my retaliate. That's what I didn't think I could, but it was worth asking. You oh. played a Death Star here. It's actually amazing. <laughs> Death Star 2 is actually very good in draft. Yeah, I mean, if you can get it out. That's you get so it out, much. and it's like, good luck trying to kill that thing. There's yeah. not, like, Luke X-Wings everywhere. Right, exactly. It's hilarious. Unless you're playing Patronus. Yeah. Uh, one hit. That was really bad. And we are going to... Wow. That was so horrible. We roll that with Lucky. Still, Still one hit. All right. I'm going to roll the three retaliate dice. Okay. One. Um, 
a poor evade form. Okay. And then Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. Roll five. I will trigger retaliate. One, four. Is a oh no, it's only pay two. It's pay four, much? evade four, pay two, retaliate four. Oh man, I actually think I'm gonna skip attacking. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna, man. Pay two retaliate four in each attack, and you have how much force? Twelve. Twelve. That is so not good. That Vader's gonna be the death of me. Well, oh, YOLO. All right. Two hits. Two. All right, retaliate four. Yep. All right, those two luckily are armor, but it does not matter because yeah, I can't. I can't lucky. All right, so he's dead. Mm-hmm. And then elite guardian. Yep. Rolls three. Retaliate. Three hits. Wow. Uh, we will pay four to evade four. One, four. Okay. And then retaliate four. Correct. There's three. And then we won't attack with Ula. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Retaliating Vader. The thing. Two. Two. Well, it is the thing when you have like 12 force. Yeah, yeah. 100%. That is very much All true. Right, so we roll the two. So gross. Um, I guess we're putting two here. Okay. Pushing this guy in. Sure. Get it. I get four fours and then one for my location. And I'm done. All right. Well, that's going to be the death of me. Another unit in ground. And... Yeah, Kacha, I know it's 14 build, but it's so hard to kill. I've had a lot of success with Death Star 2 and Seal and Draft. That's fair. It is at least fun. It is fun. Bombard okay. 10. Yeah, right. I'm assuming it's that Death Star too, the common one. Yeah, probably. All right, retreats. Yeah, goodbye, Ula. I'm good. All right, I'll build one force. Oh, uh, one, two, four, and next. I was at four at the end of. Okay, I'll build one force. Okay. Um. One. I'll bid two. I'll bid three. Three. I'll bid four. Four. I'll bid five. You'll bid five, okay. I can't bid anymore, so I will pass. Okay, pass. All right. Three, four, five. Three, four. Okay. Go ahead. Go here. Or attempt to. Uh, going there. Hi. Sure. Lucky two. Three. Accuracy. Oh, control. you are totally right. I forgot about the accuracy one. You were right. All right, four at the, uh, Three. Hmm. 
freeze enough. Okay. Ground. Yep. Um, 40. Yep. Let's roll six at the juggernaut. One health point. There's six. Yeah. That's... What a wasted roll. <laughs> that's a very dead juggernaut. All right. Three dice. Uh, that has, oh, that has 40. Okay. They're all 40. Jeez. Get wrecked, even with armor. Five. I think the Tauntaun has done the most damage <laughs> in the ground the arena. It has done the most damage. It's crazy. Well, there's none. Yeah, zero. Four, crit one. And three. there's three. And that's the game. All right. Good game. Got wrecked. Uh, yeah. I had one card left in my hand. I uh, could have built that over bidding a baj bajillion force, but I thought yeah. it was more fun to just build a bunch of force. Sure. Do some contesting instead. That's yours. Yep. Technically. All right. Well, Alrighty. we are uh, officially done with the uh, sealed deck stream. Mm -hmm. So I think next week we should just go back to um, maybe some another theme, theme match. Yeah. We'll have to figure out what that's going to be. Maybe you could put a few options on the Facebook page or something. Have yeah. Vote. Well, there was somebody, too, that um, somebody sent us a Death Star 2 deck. Oh. So maybe we should take a look at that on Facebook. I, I like yeah. rewarding people who interact Absolutely. with us and send us 100%. and like post decks and things. So yeah. I think we'll take a look at that. Maybe um, that's what we'll do next week. Yeah, for sure. But thank you for joining. Um, it was, uh, I got smoked, but it was a really fun game. So <laughs> until, not as close uh, as the, as the first game, but that's okay. Yeah. Until next week, uh, I'm uh, gold leader. She's Patronus and we're signing out. Night, everybody.